Hi, my name is Rhiannon, and I'm addicted to plot bunnies. For those of you who don't know, plot bunnies refer to sudden inspiration um, that start to go wild in your head. They breed more ideas and more ideas until you have a head full of tiny chickens and it pours snot out of your nose. Um, so plot bunnies can refer to an idea for an original story or it can refer to something an already established story or whatever but it gives you the urge to get it out and um very rarely plot bunnies can refer to ideas for projects and other things and this week alone i have had a ton of plot bunnies bouncing around my head all for different things quite a few for completely new things and um so i've been having to like temper them and reject them and a couple of them i've had to like start writing out and establishing right away because I don't want to lose the plot bunny because the idea is just too good for me to let go. Gosh. And in a way, I guess the struggle with the plot bunny is a nice metaphor for growing up because you have to learn to temper which ones you take, you have to learn to temper which ones are even feasible with your skill talent, or your with your skill level, and with your time and everything. You have to learn to say, no, I cannot do that because of this or that, and learn to just let it go. And um, so yeah, plot bunnies in moderation, I guess. Um, but, oh, oh, seriously, it's so hard. I already have three things I'm working on. Why am I getting all these ideas now? And they're not even related to the things I'm working on. Why can't the plot bunnies be helpful? <sighs> plot bunnies are just plain unfair. I really am addicted to them. I I go through projects like uh, especially when I was younger. I get all these ideas. I have I still have a ton of old notebooks from ideas that I swear I'm going to get back to. Um, <laughs> and I used to get back to them. I used to like go months on other projects and then I'd come back and be like re-inspired to go through the motions with this one again and um, a couple of them are just up there for nostalgia. I'm not even, I'm not even bothering with the pretense. They're there for nostalgia. Um, <laughs> uh, and then, like, some, some of those ideas are still good fodder for ideas that I get now, and I incorporate elements of them into stories I'm using or more ideas that I get. And it's hard because, like, you don't have the time, or you don't have the skill level, or you don't have the dedication that your plot bunnies require. And you really want to have that. You want to be that person who can get all of that stuff done. But you're limited because you're human. And that's... <laughs> And that's a little disappointing. It's not severely disappointing as in, like, midlife crisis kind of way, or as in, like, coming to terms with your own humanity kind of way, but it can be a little frustrating. Uh. <laughs> Sorry, I, for, a, for a minute I sounded really ridiculous, like, plot bunnies were the reason why the world sucks so badly, because we can't come to terms with our inability to fulfill them, and that's just, that's not the case, at least not for most people. So, um, I'll see you guys next week.